pouch man here welcome back to another cube play play um it looks like my workbench is like really clean but what you don't see over here is a freaking disaster all right let's get started um if you want to see the 55 in its done condition uh go over to instagram check it out just a couple uh a couple of separate little uh Whirly gig pictures, uh, hood up, hood down. Uh, check it out. Give me some likes. Give me some love. And uh, meet me back here for today's episode of, uh, uh, what do we call it, uh, Wheel Swap Sunday? I don't know. Got a couple of wheel swaps for you. We're going to do this little Audi uh, Quattro. And we're going to go for mono blocks on the Audi. And we got this uh, Matchbox 56, right? 56 Ford pickup. And we're going to use the uh, Hot Wheel... Uh, SpongeBob ice cream truck as a donor on that uh, on that bad boy. So let's get started. Let's go fooling around. Let's see how quick I can knock these out. Oh, I need some oil on my uh, drill. All right, let's blast the Quattro apart. Man, I think these oil bad. Really not that big a deal to take these things apart. I don't know what the problem is. But... Shall we? Uh, let's do them one at a time, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do one at a time. Okay, that was a number fifty drill on that hole there. Uh, Seven thirty seconds on this one. There you go. He's kicked. You're supposed to drill the pilot hole first, then you knock the head of the rivet off. If you don't do that, you end up with a mess. There you go. Take it apart. Uh, take it apart. There you go. What's the interior look like? Um, standard issue. Knock these out real quick. A lot of you guys are worried about these little uh, nibs that hold the wheels on. Forget about it. Don't need it. The base piece holds the wheels on. See that? Don't worry about the little nibs. All right, some mono blocks. Where's the axles? Uh oh, this didn't come with axles. Huh? That's odd. Okay. Well, no worries. I've got axles. Right here. Right here. Axles. Okay. All right. We need a um, business card. All right. We need super glue. So over here. Let's go over there. See what I'm doing. Yeah. We'll drop a super glue. Okay. Now we need uh, crimp tubes. I get these from Beadalon. They're number ones. They're number ones. Now the only way I could find these, uh, they used um, what's that hobby store? Oh my gosh, Joann's. I could only find them at Joann's, but I can't find them anymore. So I found them online. But you got to buy. Um, there's a a four pack. There's four different sizes, just to get this little bottle. But it's not too badly priced. And I found uses for the other ones. So, um, it's not, it's not all is lost. So go ahead and pick some of those up. Beadalons. Beadalon. See that? Beadalon. All right. We're going to, uh, pull out a couple of beadalons here. We're going to need four of them actually. And these are super fiddly to mess with, right? Cause they'll go flying if you're not careful. All right. Axles. Axles right there. See? Dip it in some superage glue. Just get a little bit on the end of it and pop it into a crimp tube. Now some of them you have to literally press into the crimp tube something because they're not perfect sized, but 
This one might be a tight one. Did it fit? I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. Whatever. But it puts a little end on it so that the wheel won't slide off. All right. And it um, dries pretty quick because you're not getting a lot on there. I got wax on my wheel now. Ah, I love leaping lizards. You line it up here on the chassis. Now the these are brass, and um, comes in real handy is just simple nail clippers for clipping these things off. So I'll do an initial uh, little snippet here, and then um, make sure you pull it pull it through. All right, and I'll just keep clipping away at it here until I get them. I'll just eyeball it. I tend to find eyeballing is pretty much my way of doing stuff. I don't know why that is, but I just find it easier just to eyeball it. Just a little bit more. Now if you happen to... Did I even cut any of that? If you use these for this, you'll have to replace these semi-frequently because they don't tolerate well to metal, but they sure do work good. Oh, come on. All right. If you happen to make it a little bit too small, if you make the axle too small and it like binds in there, you can take and remove these little, grind these little lumpy dumps back and it'll, it'll fit better. Lumpy dumps, Is that, did I just make that word up? Lumpy dumps. That's official Hot Wheel term there. Those are now officially called Lumpty Dumps. Alright, dip it in the super. And... <laughs> I always get right to the end of it and I mess up. See, if it came off to the side. So before it sets up... And these are super fiddly to work with. But I really like the look of them. Looks better than just smashing them like I used to do. Okay, we'll set that one aside and we'll work on this one. Always make sure you check um, your base plate front and back so that I tend to have a habit of putting it in the same spot, but sometimes the fronts and backs are different widths so you can get into trouble that way. So, anyway, I'll snip this one off, you know. I think I'm due for a new pair of these things. <laughs> the end of these things look like a look like a um, hacksaw. Now they're all boogered up. A bit more. Whoa! Don't put it in the super glue there, buddy. Um, just just a, just a hair. Maybe I should screw up so I can show you how to fix it. Really? Yeah, these clippers are about had it. Note to self, next time you go to Walmart, pick up some nail clippers. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Um, did I not have two tubes out here? Okay, I'm going to them. Super glue. Oh, I got cockeyed again. Oh, good. <laughs> Did you see that one go flying? Okay. Never mind. I'm getting nervous. I don't know why I have to f hurry. The last video was like 20 minutes. I don't know why I feel like I have to speed demon the thing. Oh, man. I got cockeyed again. Uh, it's the... Um... Okay, now this one. Sometimes you have to do one of these numbers. There it goes. You have to kind of pound it into place. Oh, there you have it. Alright, now we should be able to lay this in here like that. Right? Lay this in here like that. Okay. And then we're going to take the... Um, we'll just pop the window up. We're going to take and uh, put some holes in this bad boy. 
Maybe I'm, oh, you know what? Maybe that's why I'm speeding, so I can show you how fast it can be done. So I give it like a half a turn, back it off, half a turn, back it off. So that when you, each time you cut the thread, you back it off, You the, the th part of the thread that curled out, when you back it up, it breaks that off. Otherwise it gets all balled up in there. So some of you guys are breaking taps and that's what's happening. Okay. And this is this wax, this is wax. This is just um, like that tea light stuff. So I just take tea lights and throw it in my little wax heater thing. Pull all the, the little tin thing out and the little wick and then I just have the wax in there. Sometimes I'll heat it up, but it works. Um, I prefer to use it uh, hot, but either way works. All right, there's the interior or the uh, winder interior, All right? And then the um, we'll just kind of like the oh, wax is getting all over the place today. There we go. All right, double screws. 256 button head. They're 256 by um, 3 16 length button head. They're on Amazon. You can buy them by the hundred or whatever. I think the last time I got them, I got a thousand of them. So, however you can find them. And now we have the Audi Quattro wheel swapped. Wheel swapped right there. See that? And uh, you want a closer look at that? I'll be uh, slamming it up on Instagram for you. Let me check my phone real quick. You know, it's rude. You know, be out to dinner or whatever and check your phone and stuff. And uh, why not do it on, uh, why not do it on here? It might be one of you guys. Um, my friend. It's my friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> rude. Right, there we go. Next up, uh, we're gonna we're gonna this is gonna be our wheel donor, all right? I'm actually running low on uh, the mono mono blocks, so there you go. See my little stop I have on there? It's like I can only go three sixteenths of an inch deep. Uh, some of you guys get all nervous and put on. Uh, mount the cars and vices and drill presses and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> These are really easy because the metal bases, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about zinging the bases on them, the plastic bases. <laughs> My friend. Okay. Okay. This should be interesting. All right, um, a screwdriver. I had a screwdriver. Oh, look, it's right there on the thing. So this has a metal base. And um, sometimes, this one, I might be able to get away with it. I can take and cut these little, cut these little, uh, the nibs off here and harvest the wheels that way. There we go. But sometimes you got to take a um, Dremel tool and grind the nibs. There you go. And then this thing will go back together and uh, be another project for something else. Meanwhile, we're going to take the... Whoa, stuff's flying. Stuff is flying. <laughs> A lot of times in the trucks, I'll end up drilling through the uh, bottom of it. Now, I don't really, it doesn't bother me. Some of you guys might, but you can get some, you can get short, you can get eighth inch screws, but I don't, it doesn't really bother me at all. Oh, I really, not being careful. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm kind of sp speeding through this. I don't know why. Well, this particular one, I've already kind of chrome-plated the um, 
Oh, this will give me an opportunity to do some detailing on it. I did use the Motolo, Maloto, Motolo, what is it? Um, pump marker. Motolo. M. M O L O T O W, right? Liquid Chrome. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is a two millimeter. I also got the one millimeter. So those two work well for Hot Wheels. But that's what I did the bumpers with. I don't know if you can tell it really chromey or not. Okay. So we're going to. Um... <laughs> We're going to pull these off, and these axes are going to be too short, right? No? Should I... You know what I'm going to do? Here, that's what I'm going to do. Remember, I even forgot what these, what these little nubby, nubby wubbies. Did I talk about the nubby wubbies? All right, I'll show you what we're going to do here. Because this wheel is a little too, um, not quite wide enough, right? Um, we're gonna grind off the nubby wubbies. I'll show you how that works. So just uh, grind off the nubby wubbies, and that thing should fit. fit but the back ones are not going to fit they are way too way too short so that's going to require an axle replacement all right save your little bits of axle too because they'll come in handy for uh, other things that you need just half axles for and that sort of that sort of stuff all right Okay, and my friend is, uh, my friend's going wild here. Okay, um, yeah, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. All right, so we gotta trim this off. This gives a bit of a white. Be careful when you cut the axles too, so you gotta keep a hold of it, otherwise it'll go flying across the room. Um, just a hair more. Just a hair more. Yeah, okay. So in this situation, I'll use the stock axle, right? And then I'll use a um, crimp tube. Look, at, you can see how quickly that you can make a mess. So imagine not cleaning this up for weeks on end, which is what I did. Oh, look what I did. I glued a wheel to the uh, thing there. That's not good. All right, let's clean the wheel off. These wheels, these wheels, some of these wheels are going to my buddy G, uh, GC. Yeah, my buddy GC. Shout out to GC. All right. Um, yeah, that should, that should work out all right. I just buried my crimp tube, didn't I? I did. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Everybody stop looking. Alright. Man, these things are fiddly. Try, even trying, simply trying to get them to stand up right is kind of a challenge at times sometimes. Alright, so you hold the wheel like that. Right? Hold both tires together. We dip it in the super. And try to get it in the... There we go. Let me get this out of the way before my arm sticks to it. Old business cards make great little um, epoxy mixing things and whatnot. Got a product placement here. Pooch, man. All right, so, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, I was going to fit the base now. Where's the base? So you got biggins in the... Yeah, there we go. Boom, it's like that, see? I don't know if you can see the look, but that crimp tube actually adds like a little um, sort of detail to it. You know what I mean? It adds a little more rather than just a, 
a smashed end or something. It just sort of adds like a, I don't know, like a little hub, hubby type, little hubba hubba type service uh, to it. I don't know. I just, I'm weird like that. So there's that. There's this. Um, this is interesting. On this particular one, the grill is separate. And I said I did the headlights. That looks kind of trippy now that I look at it. Did the headlights in chrome, but the rest of the grill needs to be done. Um, I guess in the, in the effort of saving time, I'm just going to um, forego that part of it. So how does, how does this fit in here anyway? Right, what holds the... Oh, I see. There's two little, there's two little nubby, nubby bubby things that fit in there. Nubby bubby, more nubby bubby. Okay, here we go. Like that, right? Dude, that looks freaking dope. Now that's a moon truck right there, bruh. All right, uh, I forgot to do the threads with this. All right. As far as a tap tool, some of you guys are using like regular tap uh, holders and stuff. You don't need that. The Zemec is so soft that it, you could just do it by hand. I simply epoxied a 3 8 nut to the tap. That's all you got to do. Make sure you have a lot of blow so you can clean out the holes and all the junk. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, my friend is uh, quite the character. Okay, yeah. See, I did the back. I was gonna do some tail lights and stuff on this one, so yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm detailing this one. Came out pretty mush. All right, there we go. All right couple of screws. I've been, you can get these screws in um, black. Um, I prefer the stainless, kind of a chromey looking um, look to it. I initially work with the black ones, but I like the chrome ones better. I don't know. Just kind of look like the factory uh, swedgy. It's not really a rivet, it's just, it's called a swedge. I've said that before. I know. So dude, there you go. It's a roll. Well, it is a little. It does roll. I could have uh, spaced the front front wheels a little little better. Um, how about a little tail light action? There you go. Oops. Sharpie, sharpie paint pen. So I get red, orange, black, silver, whatever. So what I like to do with my lights is I'll use the Motolo, Moloto, Motolo, chrome it, and then go over it with the red, and then you sort of have a, a chrome outline to it. I'll get detail that grill out some more, but uh, I think we'll call it good. All right, that's it for now. Poochman out. Remember, when you're walking in the park and you come across the big those big ducks, the big ducks that are like walk.